these are water kefir grains I just received them and they were refrigerated for a few days so now I'm going to start to activate them I'm using a quarter cup of organic cane sugar to um, one quart of water. I'm going to stir it to dissolve. I'm adding the sugared water to the keto grain. Make sure your jar is washed properly and sterilized and all the equipment is cleaned thoroughly. So this needs to be stirred. So I'm going to stir it a little bit and uh, leave it out on my counter. needs to be covered so the grains are mixed with the sugar and water and I'm just going to cover it with some coffee filters and put the lid over Actually, you're not supposed to be using metal, so uh, I've got the filters here and I'm just supporting it with the metal cover. Uh, I think uh, using plastic lid covers would be uh, acceptable, so we'll see how this works. So, so I put the lid on and it's uh, loosely covered. Uh, so nothing gets in there and it, it also has the coffee filters so uh, I'm just gonna leave it to sit and cover this with the dish towel overnight so here it is it's going to sit there for 24 hours and I'll check it in the morning bubbles are on the top some of the grains have gone to the top it's looking nice and cloudy and let's see once you shake it there's bigger bubbles coming from the bottom most of the grains settle at the bottom um, I'm gonna have a taste and see if it's ready Here's what the top looks like. You can see the bubbles on the side. So I started this on the 25th and uh, today is the 28th, so it's three days now. So it seems to be fermented properly, but I still find it's too sweet. So I'm gonna do a second ferment and uh, try that out and see uh, if I get a little bit of fizz uh, and uh, to make it tasty and uh, more refreshing for a summer drink. 
I'm just gonna stir the grains and strain it. So I'm using just plastic and glass containers. Straining the grains out. There's some grains in there, the rest is still in the jar. This is about a quarter cup of grape juice, and I'm going to add it to this bottle that I'm going to do my second ferment in. space at the top and you need a tight cap uh, with a tight seal. There's a second ferment grape flavored bottle today. And I'm going to test it out tomorrow to see, uh, maybe at least 24 hours to see if it's uh, ready to drink. Stir the sugar until it is completely dissolved. I'm using spring water and organic cane sugar. Uh, cut down on the sugar to three tablespoons, three tablespoons from a quarter cup in the last batch. And stir it after adding the sugar water in there. So I'm feeding the grains again and doing another batch of water to second ferment and I fermented it with a little bit of grape juice and I'm just testing the fizz so I think it's ready when the fizz is ready and I have a plate underneath just in case it pops over and we're gonna try it out so that's a fizz that you can expect and even though I had a plate underneath, it is still, it was, it's, it's still popped over like that. So you have to be careful. So it's time for it to go into the refrigerator and you can have it cold. But we need to try this out. So I'm gonna test it and see how good it is. It's like champagne.
for two days it still has a strong fizz this is the initial grape flavored first time um, brew that i made second ferment and it was put in the fridge it's delicious So these are the active bubbles at the bottom of the water kefir jar. You can see the water is uh, a bit cloudy now. There's more of the bubbles in between the water kefir grains. When you shake it, it rises. The bubbles rise to the top. And you can see way back there to the surface. Some of the grains also rise to the surface. So the top of the water just seems cloudy with the bubbles on the edges. And you can see right down at the bottom of the jar some of the grains are there settle down to the bottom so here are the kefir grains you can see it's bubbling uh, the bubbles are all in between the grains and they're rising to the top when you shake them uh, some of the grains also float to the top Shake them. There's all the bubbles coming up. So I'm gonna take off the coffee filter and uh, just remove the coffee filter and I'm gonna stir it. Give it a stir. Strain, strain it. So I'm going to leave a little bit of the liquid the jar, uh, leaving the little bit of liquid in the jar helps them give them, helps give them a kick start to faster fermentation because this is already fermented and the bacteria is already in there together with the water grains, a water kefir grains, uh, it's spelled, spelled kefir, we say it as kefir but it's kefir, that's how it's spelled. So there's your grains uh, and I'll just refill this bottle with some okay, uh, spring water. I'm using spring water or I allow my, my filtered water to um, allow my filtered water to sit for at least 24 hours before adding it to this um, so now I'm just gonna mix uh, a little bit of sugar water and top up the jar the 
I'm adding the grains back into the jar. So here's two sterilized bottles. I'm using the kombucha bottles, the small ones. I don't have a very big batch of uh, water kefir to make. So um, I'm gonna flavor it with a fresh fruit today. The last time I tried it with grape juice and it was really um, good because it gave you a good fizz. Um, this time I thought I'll try and use some of these uh, blackberries, but I read the package and the blackberries are not organic. So I would prefer to use organic fruit. And so I'm not gonna, I, I'm, I'm gonna change my mind about adding these to my um, uh, water kefir. So here I have some fresh pineapple. Um, so I'm going to add the pineapple, just enough to cover the base of the bottle. I don't really go by too um, strict measurements. So I just cover the base of the bottle with a few pieces of pineapple and we're going to try that. So there's a base uh, of the bottle covered with uh, a few pieces of fresh pineapple. And um, I'm just doing two little bottles, about 340 mils, uh, because I just made like a quarter. I'm just gonna fill these bottles up. So this has been sitting for more than uh, a little over 48 hours. It's been cool in the last uh, couple of days, so it took a while. So it's just enough, one quart will make two of these um, small kombucha bottles that I'm going to use to ferment in. I'm going to leave a little space on top. This is some wet paper towel. I'm just going to wipe the tops off so it's not sticky and uh, when you open the bottles they won't be uh, hard to open because of the sugary stuff in there. So I'm going to get the seals. So I'm going to seal this. Make sure that the inside seal is strong uh, and quite tight because you want a tight seal for the fuzz to build up. And um, it, uh, this takes about two or three days. Uh, you'll see bubbles coming up and you'll also see at the top here, there'll be a line of bubbles. Uh, make sure to burp them burping them means just unscrewing the lid slowly and you'll hear some gas escape and then you close it again tightly um, that will be done the next day after uh, brewing this batch so just don't forget to do that because you can have explosions when the gas builds up in these bottles so be careful and take the precautions and make sure that they are burped daily until they are ready once you find that the fizz strong enough, is strong enough and ready to enjoy, uh, you can refrigerate them immediately. You'll uh, burp them uh, and refrigerate them immediately. So um, uh, we'll wait for a day or two and I'll come back and I'll show you uh, what the pineapple, the fresh fruit can do to uh, stimulate a good fizz in your water kefir.
be sure to label your bottles um, with what the contents are. I have water kefir. I got two hap, two F, which means uh, second ferment. I have the date, uh, which is the 31st of May today. That gives you an idea of how long it will take you to, um, uh, to make sure it gets ready. Uh, maybe a day or two, it just, uh, it's a good guide. And how long it lasts in the fridge. And if you're doing uh, continuous batches, then you'll know which ones to use first. And the flavor, uh, which I have here now is pineapple. So we'll just see you in a couple of days and we'll go through uh, burping the bottles and um, checking out the fizz. So I'm just adding, I'm um, uh, dissolving some organic cane sugar in some water and I'm going to add it to the kefir grains uh, just to continuously brew our next batch. So we've got to mix the sugar until it's completely dissolved and then I'm going to add it to the kefir grains. So I'm adding the sugar water and I'm going to top up this jar with the grains. So this is a one quart to about a quarter cup of grains. the next brew going. This will be ready to in 24 to 48 hours but my kitchen temperatures are low right now so uh, if we have warmer weather in the next few days I'm sure it will be ready in about 24 hours. So let the top up. paper towel and I'll put my coffee filter back on and I'll put the rubber band back on to hold down the coffee filter so you don't want to get any uh, bugs or anything in there gnats especially love fermented uh, drinks so be careful Make sure all your things are covered when you're working. So I changed the label with the date. Today is the 31st and uh, it's a 1F, which means it's first ferment. I've uh, got water kefir because I'm also doing kombucha at the moment. And uh, that's the time, about 11 p.m. So um, we're going to give this 24 hours at least and then we'll continue bottling with the second ferment. So there's my setup and I'm just going to cover this with the dish towel to keep it dark. And that's it. So I'll come back tomorrow to check the second brew and uh, check on the first brew to see if it's bubbling. I'm, I'm just testing the fizz after 24 hours of um, fermenting the pineapple flavored water kefir. So um, let's see, it's going to be a weak fizz. Oh, it's not. It's ready because the weather has been warm. So I think I'm gonna put this out on the fridge. And the second bottle, it's popping over so. So this spilled over, both spilled over. So this is ready to go in the fridge. We 
didn't want to clean that up. I don't expect it to be ready, but today was a warm day. So um, it's ready within 12 hours. <laughs> 